So all Baltimore Ravens have officially started the search for a new offensive coordinator, putting in a request to have their first interview. Well, maybe it's their first interview because, you know, sometimes Ravens, they just be doing stuff in the dark and we don't hear about it until later on. So this is their first public request for an interview, and it is for the Rams pass game coordinator slash QB coach Zach Robinson. So obviously... If you look at the Rams, then he's under Sean McVay. We know Sean McVay, young guy, super young guy, very innovative. So that speaks volumes right there. So I know a lot of Ravens fans are happy because this possibly shows that they trying to get some youth up in this thing. And it's funny because with the offense, the offense is a position group where they've been very weird. They've been really weird because... They well with Lamar Jackson, they hadn't they obviously hadn't been the worst in the world, but they just they hadn't been getting the best out of those guys. They hadn't been putting them in a lot of positions uh, for success. They hadn't been putting like the whole offense uh, in a lot of positions for success. There was a lot of inconsistencies here and there and whatnot. Um, but the Ravens, uh, maybe they may look to go younger because when I first saw, all right, they they gonna interview. Well, they put in a request to interview Zach Robinson. I Googled him. So, okay, he's a former NFL quarterback. All right, cool. Um, but I saw the age. The age said 36. I said, whoa! Because that the youth, the youth movement, because the Ravens, they saw on defense, on defense two years ago, they, they weren't bad. I mean, they were banged up big time. But they weren't bad, and they hadn't been bad for years, but they had just been... Some had just been missing. So they brought in Mike McDonald's super young guy. And not saying that an older person couldn't get the job done. But they brought in a super young guy. And, and he changed things around. Now the Ravens did have a lot more health as well. But he changed a lot around. And he still has some stuff here and there that could be better. But it was his first year. A lot improved with the Ravens defense. And then especially once they added a Roquan Smith. So now, could they possibly be taking that same approach on the offensive side of the ball with a possible youth movement? Ooh, I wouldn't be mad at it. I really wouldn't. Um, so we'll see what comes of this. But anyway, the report, uh, well, the original report from Tom Pelissero said that the Chargers requested an interview with Rams past game coordinator slash QB coach Zach Robinson, and he's considered a strong candidate for their offensive coordinator job per sources uh robinson is 36 he's a former nfl quarterback and now a fast rising assistant and tom pelicero added this that brandon staley who is the chargers head coach um and everybody was thinking that he was about to get fired Not everybody was especially after that playoff game that meltdown where the jaguars end up coming back but they said hey apparently jaguar i mean excuse me the chargers everybody on the staff they really like him they love him so they fight offensive coordinator instead. But anyway, so they, they got a vacancy. So Tom Pelissero brought out that Brandon Staley, again, Chargers head coach, uh, he was on the Rams staff with Zach Robinson in 2020. So there's familiarity there uh, in L.A. fired Lombardi earlier this week and now have a coveted O.C. opener. Yeah, that's another position where I know Harbaugh talked about with the Ravens, their offensive coordinator position is a job that so many people are going to want. And I'm sure they will. But with the Chargers, I think that's a more um, – what do I want to say? More of a sure thing for that offensive coordinator because there are no question marks as to if the team is going to re-sign Justin Herbert or not. You know they're going to re-sign him. He got full confidence and you ain't even heard nothing about a contract yet. But you just know that it's going to happen. But with the Ravens, yeah, it's Lamar Jackson, so this is something special. And, and Herbert especially as well. He's nice too, but it's Lamar Jackson, so he's something special. Uh, but there's all that uncertainty. So an offensive coordinator could look and be like, uh, I don't know what's going to I don't know what's going to happen. So I don't know. So that could kind of push him away from this position with the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, so we'll see how this thing goes. But anyway, um, Ian Rappaport said the Ravens also put in uh, for Zach Robinson for their OC job. So it said a hot name in the coaching world. So. Yeah, man, they, they they trying to get an interview with him, uh, start lining things up. So Ravens, they really got to get on this thing uh, because time is really of the essence. Like we talked about um, in a video from yesterday, I just wonder how what the chronological order of everything is going to be. 
Because, yeah, they said, oh, yeah, Lamar Jackson, he's going to have some input on the next offensive coordinator. All right, cool. But what's going to happen first? You're going to hire the offensive coordinator um, and then sign Lamar and then start delivering on some of the stuff that you said? Or are you going to sign Lamar first, then the offensive coordinator, and then start delivering on some of the stuff? Or, like, what's going to happen first? Uh, based off of the way things work, free agency, that starts in March. Um the franchise tag would have to be applied uh, if it ends up going that route. They would have to be applied, I think, if the week before free agency is the deadline for the franchise tag to be applied. Uh, then with the franchise tag, I believe the deadline to get an extension done, I want to say it's in May. I want to say it's in May, but don't quote me on that. I know some of y'all would know better than I would. I mean, we could look it up. Hey, I mean, you know what? We here right now. So, you know, you know what? Let me look it up. NFL deadline for contract extension on franchise tag. Just so we can take all the guesswork out of it, because just to make it simpler for all of us. Oh, okay. See, that's 2022. I, I need 2023. All right. The deadline to apply the franchise tag is 4 p.m. on March 7th. So, yeah, that's the week before free agency. Okay, cool. Um, and it, the window opens on February 21st. Oof, you could do it that early. That's in, like, a month. But anyway, and it runs through the next 15 days. In terms of values, we will not know for sure uh, the cap for that. Okay, that's, that's not what I was looking for. Um, I'm looking for the extension date. Okay, from the moment of, from the moment a team uses a franchise tag, it can negotiate a long term contract with the player until mid July. Okay, so that all right, so that clears that up. So, the middle of July, that's when they can do it. I think that's what I said earlier, but either way, so that's that. All right, so the Ravens. So okay, now that we got that cleared up, that that helps my thought process so much because the Ravens. They can do their franchise, tech, but at the same time, so yeah, decision going to have to be made. If they're going to keep Lamar, they got to get this deal done ASAP. If they're going to trade him, they got to do it before April. They got to do it before April because April is the draft, and they're, they're not going to want to trade him for something next year. Hopefully, they don't trade him, but if they do trade him, it's going to have to happen before April. So uh, free agencies in March, draft is in April. Uh, and then the deadline to come up with an extension is mid-July. So with all that being said, um, I, I do think they're going to franchise tag. I don't think they're going to come up with a deal uh, before then. But, hey, we'll see. We, we, we won't know till we know. Uh, but they could franchise tag him and then be like, all right, Lamar, we're going to franchise tag you. But, hey, we're going to show you what we're going to do. Then you got March. I mean, you could hire your offensive coordinator. That could be first. And then you got March, and March is when free agency starts. You're definitely going to want to have an offensive coordinator by then because that's when you can start making your deals, bringing some people in on offense and defense and whatnot. But we're talking about offense. So they're going to be like, oh, that's the offensive coordinator. Okay, I like where this is headed. Okay, that's the offensive coordinator. You know what? I could be a part of this change in Baltimore. Oh, that's the offensive coordinator. Well, it's still with the Ravens. Uh, they might have still have that same philosophy, so I don't want to go there. It could go any type of way. Depending on a free agent um, But free agency starts That's when Ravens can start showing Lamar Like hey we said it in the season ending presser We want to upgrade the wide receiver room We want to build it up We want to bring in these weapons for you Alright boom here we go Hey then after that the draft Hey the draft we got some more picks Because we traded some players We made some moves and whatnot. We got some more picks Watch this Lamar we got you Boom bam wow wow woo Awesome Look at that there we go Lamar See I, I, I told you we were going to do it. Offensive line, they back together. The, we, the draft picks, the free agency, we made some trades. We really went in for you. Do you believe us now? Now are you willing to commit to us? And then boom, that's how you get it done. So I'm glad we got that cleared up. So now moving forward, uh, I got a clear mindset on how all of this could play out. Obviously things could change. but So I'm going to go offensive coordinator first. Franchise tag is applied. Uh, then there's free agency. You make some moves. Then there's a draft. You make some moves. And then at that point, um, well, actually, if they're going to trade Lamar, it'll happen after March. Well, maybe even yeah, happen maybe sometime in March 
or early April. But it, it would happen before the draft. But if they're going to keep Lamar, which hopefully they will, because hopefully after they go through all those things, they will show him like, hey, we are going to really value you now. Um, then long term deal uh, in May or June or July. They got a while to make it happen. So we'll see how it goes. Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. Thank you for sitting through this thought process with me uh, because I appreciate y'all. It's fun thinking out loud sometimes. Team Keep It Clean, we out.